Good morning and welcome back to the vlogs. It is Sunday morning. It's like 7.30. I'm praying that I'm not going neon right now like I was in my last vlog. Thank you guys for being so nice about it. I was just so bummed when I like saw the footage because I was like, gosh, rookie mistake, Nicole. Like check your footage after you film it to make sure like it looks okay. And I learned a bunch about my iPhone camera settings. I changed a bunch of things. And so hopefully uh, we're looking good this morning. It's like 7.30. Like I said, I have not been up for very long. I am not going to the gym this morning. I usually take Fridays and Sundays off of the gym mostly because there are no spin classes that happen on those days and that's pretty much all I can do with my bum shoulder. I did take yesterday Saturday off too though because I have my special monthly visitor right now and she comes into town and ruins my life every single month. I don't know if you guys are like this but I get cramps so bad. I have since I got my period for the very first time at 11. I've taken birth control in the past to like make the cramps be not so bad and it did work but I just like hate what that does to my body so I stopped doing that a long time ago and now I just suffer. <laughs> Sweet. Sometimes despite like pampering Advil and a heating pad, I'm just like in fetal position on the floor crying. Let me know if any of you guys are like this or if you've found like things that help because I wish that there was something that could make it different because it's really, really awful. I'm really proud of myself though because yesterday, despite struggling, I went to the store and I shopped for, then filmed, then edited all of my Mad Snack Monday content for tomorrow. It was kind of a lot to do five videos in one day. I really try not to do that, but I'm really glad that I did because then it means I don't have to do any of that today. I pre-filmed a bunch of content yesterday for you guys to see today on TikTok and IG so I can kind of just like chill out today and tomorrow and let my uterus find its way. Also, my shoulder decided that she wanted to compete for first place in pain in my human being. And I was like, that's kind of not cool to do that right now. I did something to my shoulder. I don't know what I did, but it's uh, flared up really, really bad, right along with my uterus. Love that for me. I'm just gonna kinda like chill out today. I need to go feed Coco. I'm gonna put some Voltaren on my shoulder, take my meds. Oh, we are going to movies today though. We're gonna go see Mean Girls. As a millennial, I'm always gonna be partial to the original, but I'm excited to see what this one is like. People say it's really funny and it's produced by Tina Fey. And I feel like that can't be bad, right? I'm gonna do that today at like 2.30, but until then I'm just gonna kinda like, chill out and let my uterus and my shoulder find their lives. All right, let's go feed Coco. But hi, good morning. Let's go feed Coco. Get the Crocs on. Oh, what are you doing here, Tux? Is she bothering you? Yeah, you tell her. You tell her, good morning. This is Tux. You have a home and you have food that you can eat. You're so cute though. I know, I know, this is what she does. She'll come up, I know, you just wanna be besties. I think you're so cute, okay, don't get me wrong, but you can't eat Coco's food. I know, you're so sweet though. Okay, okay, all right, I gotta go feed her, but you can't, no, you can't have any, this isn't your breakfast. Poor Coco, Coco's like, come on, man, this is supposed to be my food. No, it's not for you. <laughs> No, ma'am. You better back it up. Uh-uh. Back it up. Back it up. This isn't for you. Tux is really, really cute. And we've met her family. Yeah, two houses down. She always comes over and tries to eat Coco's food. But she's really sweet. Like, she just wants to hang out and have snacks. But then Coco gets all freaked out and she doesn't want to eat because Coco's so skittish. And this little lady, she's clearly got people. <laughs> her tail's so floofy, though. You're so floofy. What? You can't have kibbles. This isn't for you. You have to go home to eat, to eat breakfast. You, <laughs> you come here. Come on. I think she thinks there's kibble in this cup still, and I'm just going to let her think that. Yeah, we got to let Coco eat. Come on. Okay, you can't come to my house, though. She'll literally come straight into my garage when I least expect it, and usually when I have no time to fetch her out of it. You are something else. Did you know that? You're something that you say hi to the vlog. Say good morning. I am Tux. She's really, really cute. And to be honest, I would totally catnap her if she didn't have a home. Um, but she definitely gets in the way a little bit when I'm trying to feed Coco. Because she's going to go try to eat her food. But Coco puts her in her place and tells her no. And she hisses at her. So I'm going to let the backyard shenanigans handle themselves. Because I want to go drink coffee. <laughs> so let's go do that. Boy, I've been 
everybody told me you could be whatever you want to be so I told my a little bit later I'm making some scrambled eggs I changed my mind I'm going to the gym I think I'm gonna go because sometimes that helps with the cramps it's just moving around and uh, I'm gonna pray that it helps I just kind of feel like I could either sit on the couch and think about how much it hurts or get up and move around and distract myself so I'm gonna go distract myself at the gym and hope that it makes it better because I struggled this morning, y'all. I'm in my scrambled egg era. I don't know what's going on lately, but I never like scrambled eggs. And for some reason right now, I'm all about them. I mean, I guess it's healthy, so go meat, but like weird. <laughs> Sometimes I go through phases where I absolutely think eggs are disgusting, the texture bothers me, and like I just have no appetite to eat them. And then other times I'm obsessed with them. And right now I'm obsessed with them. Very strange. I don't really know how that happens. I'm back on the egg train. I'm not also say. We have made it to the car. I am dressed, ready for my workout. I kind of still don't want to go, but I also know that I will feel so much better if I do go. Exercise is one of the few things that actually really does help me when I have really bad cramps. So I'm hoping that that like reigns true today. Fingers crossed. I have a mini Alani New. These are like the perfect size. I like the bigger ones, but sometimes they're a little bit too much liquid because I have the bladder the size of a toddler. Like I have to pee all the time. I know where every bathroom is and every place I've ever been to because there's a 99.9% .9 chance that if I walk in somewhere, I will have to pee because my bladder's just too small. <laughs> it always has been and it sucks. And so this is like the right amount of liquid. It's hundred milligrams of caffeine. And I just feel like this is like the perfect little size pre-workout. I'll drink the bigger ones if I'm going to go get in like a big workout, but I feel like I'm not really going to do that today. <laughs> I'm going to take it easy, do like a 30 minute budget Peloton ride. I call it the budget Peloton. I have an Octobuddy on the back of my phone and I just stick it to the regular spin bike at the gym and I have the Peloton app and I just like pull up a class and I take a class. I've always wanted to try the Pelotons, but they're so expensive uh, that I, that's why I have not because they're so expensive. So I'm going to go get in just like a quick 30 minute ride. Let's, let's get it going. Then over the years, everybody's telling me to find a career. Huh. And I'll be rolling my eyes, thinking I'll be your ride with my guitar by my side. But now it's like 55 quid. Woo! I got in like a really good 30 minute ride, and I do feel better. I'm really proud of myself because it did take an exorbitant amount of motivation to make that happen, but like I feel so much better. I was just feeling like super foggy and really crampy and just kind of like, ugh. And I do feel like getting a good workout helped out. I do Kendall Tools rides pretty much exclusively. She's just the best one. She's the most motivating. Like that woman could get me up off my ass any day of the week. I love her. Also, her playlists are absolutely fire. So like if you've never taken class from Kendall on Peloton, you absolutely should. Also, if you want to follow me on Peloton, I followed a bunch of you guys back, but I'm Nicole Ann 6 on Peloton too. So we can ride together. I have my Built Bar. I got these yesterday at Walmart and I'm so upset with myself because I bought the wrong ones. I bought the like regular Built Bars. Like these are fine. Don't get me wrong. Like they're good. I still think these are the most superior protein bar I've ever had. They taste like a chocolate bar, but the puffs are really, really good. And they had the puffs. I just, I don't know. I thought for some reason that these were the puffs when I grabbed them, but I was trying to get like a different flavor because they had double chocolate brownie and then one other puff flavor but when i saw the double chocolate i was like oh that's what i want but i didn't realize it wasn't the puffs there was two puffs and one regular and i'm in silly goose and i got the regular one on accident i couldn't do my regular pt because i forgot they closed down the weight room today for maintenance so i had to do like a pretty limited pt set but i got a set in which is good i do pt pretty much five days a week uh because my shoulder's already frozen. I don't know how my shoulder is frozen when I have done as much physical therapy as diligently as I have, but for some reason, your girl still has a frozen shoulder. So that can happen though when you have an injury that's like super chronic. I was talking to my orthopedist about it when I saw her earlier this week. If you guys saw my TikTok video or my Instagram video, it's on both platforms, but I gave you guys an update and I had asked her, I'm like, so like, does the frozen shoulder just happen sometimes regardless of how much work you put into not having it happen? Because technically it usually happens happens from lack of using it but I try so hard to still use it and to still keep my range of motion and she was like yeah sometimes like when injuries become too chronic they just turn into frozen shoulder no matter what you do which sucks because I really tried hard
hard to avoid this. So not my fault. I couldn't get any of this care done any faster than I have. I'm just like frustrated because I feel like I tried so hard. <laughs> so I got in a limited set of PT today, but I still got it in and that matters. So every little bit counts. So I'm going to eat my, bro my, my protein bar. <laughs> I'm going to eat my protein bar and I'm going to drive home and shower and get ready to go to the movies. It's like 1245 right now. So I should probably make like a protein shake or something at home or like a smoothie. I usually am not hungry after I work out. I suck at eating protein after I work out. So I always bring a protein bar. Um, and I usually try to get in some kind of smoothie as well for like a meal because I just never want to eat real food after I work out. I'm just like never that into it. So I'm going to go probably make a smoothie. So let's go home and do that. Okay. So sometimes when I come home from the gym, I make a smoothie with like a chocolate vanilla protein powder. But other times I like to make a more fruit based situation with some collagen powder. I do work with Clean Simple Eats full transparency, but I love them. And their blue Hawaiian collagen is so good with their sour cherry hydration mix. And I'll mix this all together in like a little collagen hydration smoothie. And it's so good. The collagen like froths up really good. It's really yummy. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I do have a code for Clean Simple Eats if you wanna try it out. It's Nicole with two E's at the end. So. You can check it out if you want to, but I'm a big fan. It's funny because y'all know Megs, my bestie Megs. She got a personal trainer recently and she and I were hanging out and she was like, oh my gosh, you'll never guess like what protein powder my personal trainer recommends. And it was Clean Simple Eats. And she's like, that's so funny you work with them. They're such a fun, like what used to be small brand who's becoming a bigger brand. It was made by a husband and wife. And I just, I love, I love working with them because I love their product. So there's that. Oh, I should have put this part in first. I always do that. These little smoothie packs from Costco are the very best. They have kale, bananas, berries in them. And it's just like the perfect amount of fruit. Oh, except for when you put too much liquid in it. I definitely overfilled this, um, but hopefully it's still gonna work out okay. Oh, no, she's leaking. <laughs> I think we fixed it. <laughs> Pro tip, don't, don't overfill it. I don't know why I always do that. It's a bad idea. It should turn out a little thicker than I wanted. Thicker than a snicker. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. This will taste good. It'll melt. Wow, that was so graceful. The way I just did that there. Wow, did you see that? That was remarkable. I didn't spill a drop. Okay. Mmm. With the blue Hawaiian and the sour cherry, it's so good. While we're in the kitchen, I figured we could pack my movie bag really quick before I shower. I'll show you what I pack in it. I don't ever pay for candy at the movie theater, ever. Growing up, my mom never let us buy even popcorn at the movie theater. I do let myself do that now as an adult, but I don't ever buy candy because it's so expensive. Kyle and I actually met at a movie theater. A lot of you guys know that. And it's crazy to think of like how much candy cost back then. And now it's even more. Like it's like $8 for a thing of Twizzlers, which is so stupid. So I always pack my own candy. I always pack like a bunch of stuff. And then I usually don't wind up eat, even eating like half of it. Um, if you hear crying in the background by a little cat, it's Bailey. She gets really sad when the man cave door is closed and Kyle's in there and she's not. So I packed some Hershey's Hugs. These are elite, so good. Um, this is a Milky Way Midnight. I'm kind of savoring this because I can't ever find these anymore. I don't even know where I found these ones, but I should have just buffed them out because this, this is my favorite candy bar of all time. It's like marshmallow and caramel and chocolate, super good. We've got two halves of a Mr. Beast bar left over from last night. Some Alani New gummies. These are the best ones, the gummy worms. It's only 90 calories for this whole bag. And I'll be honest, I don't eat it for the health and wellness. I eat it because these actually taste really good. And I usually pack my own water and I'll buy popcorn there and probably a little beverageino because our movie theater sells beer and wine. And there you have it. All right, I'm gonna go shower. Let's do it. We are headed to the movie. I like way lost track of time. So we're running like a little bit late, but that's normal in my world. So <laughs> I'm pretty much always running late. Ask anybody. So yeah, we're headed to the movie though and I'm really excited, but I'm all showered and whatnot. I finished my smoothie and I'm excited to see Mean Girls. I'm excited to see if it's good or if it's trash. So I'll let you know shortly. <laughs> Hi, it's like five o'clock now. We just got home from Mean Girls. I liked it a lot. I definitely think it was adjacent to the Mean Girls musical. So if you like that, then you'll like this. I kind of was hoping that they were gonna switch some of the like iconic lines, not all of them, but some of them to like more modern versions because Kyle and I were looking it up on the way out and the original Mean Girls came out 20 years ago in 2004. 
So I feel like they could have updated some of the lines, like instead of that so fetch, as iconic as it is, they could have come up with something that was more like modern to the times now. Although there's also a big piece of me that loves that like Gen Zers and Gen Alphas who have never seen Mean Girls, which is a wild concept to me, that they'll get to enjoy it this way. The iconic lines and all, like that's kind of cool. So I don't know. I, I loved it for its own piece, but it's not the original. But I don't think they were trying to go for that. But it was really fun that, like, Tina Fey was in it. Also, Tina Fey doesn't even look like she aged from, like, the last Mean Girls. So I don't, I don't know what kind of Botox she's using, but she looks great. It, it was good. We liked it. We're now just going to, like, chill out for the rest of the evening. I think I'm going to read some more Akatar. I'm so close to finishing the first book, and I really want to finish it. I do have to edit some footage for the YouTubes. It was a good, good little date day. Um, <laughs> so I think I'm going to end the vlog for tonight because there's really like nothing else going on for the rest of the evening. So thank you for hanging out with me. I also filmed for you guys today my everyday like hair routine for like my wavy hair that you guys are always asking for. Um, so that will be up at some point this week too. So I love you. Always subscribe so you don't have to miss me. And uh, yeah. Okay, love you. Bye. <laughs> I could go back and tell myself that life is gonna hit you hard. They say.